Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today, I am going to discuss how glucose insulin infusion corrects hyperkalemia. Let's move on to the topic. Let's see about the basic things before moving on to the mechanism. Potassium is an electrolyte and most of the body's potassium is located inside the cells. That is, 98% present inside the cell at a concentration of 140 to 150 millimole per liter. Only 2% present outside the cell at a concentration of 3.5 to 5.5 millimole per liter. Blood is an extracellular fluid which will be extracted and sent for investigation. So, when you are taking blood and sent for test, as it is an extracellular fluid, the normal potassium is 3.5 to 5.5 millimole per liter. Let's talk about hyperkalemia. Hyperkalemia is the condition in which the blood potassium level is high, that is more than 5.5 millimole per liter. Potassium helps your nerves and muscles, including your heart, work the right way. Too much or too less of potassium in your blood can be dangerous. And glucose insulin infusion is the first line treatment for hyperkalemia. Let's discuss about the function of insulin and glucose. So, insulin is an effective and reliable drug that causes potassium to shift into the cells and also helps the blood glucose to enter inside body cells. That is the reason why we are administering insulin in case of hyperglycemia, that is for diabetic patients and as you all know glucose is the main source of energy let's discuss how the glucose insulin infusion works in treating hyperkalemia here are some key points the purple dot is for potassium green for glucose red for insulin and red and green dot for Glucose insulin infusion that is 10 units of regular insulin plus 25 percentage of dextrose. Let's look at the first picture. This is a normal cell. As we discussed in the previous slides, the normal cell consists of 98 percentage of potassium present inside the cell and only 2 percentage of potassium present outside the cell. Whenever you are sending blood sample, the normal potassium level varies between 3.5 to 5.5 millimole per liter. Move on to the second picture. This is hyperkalemia. Hyperkalemia is a condition where the blood potassium is high, that is more than 5.5 millimole per later so in the picture you can clearly see the potassium level is more outside the cell and you know glucose insulin infusion is the first line treatment for hyperkalemia let's see how it works as we discussed earlier the insulin has got two main functions it helps the potassium to go inside the cell and also the glucose to go inside the cell. As a result, what will happen? The potassium will be corrected, but it will end up in hypoglycemia. So in order to prevent that, we are administering dextrose along with insulin. This is how it maintains the homeostasis. Let's talk about the post-treatment outcomes that is after administering glucose insulin infusion what will happen potassium will be corrected and the blood glucose will be 
low. So, in order to compensate that, we are administering injection dextrose along with insulin. The effect of insulin stays for almost 2 to 3 hours. Therefore, it is better to monitor the blood sugar hourly for at least 3 hours following the treatment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, I am sure that you got a clear idea how the glucose insulin infusion works in treating hyperkalemia. I hope this would be helpful for you guys. If you feel the same, kindly like, share this to our friends and subscribe my channel. My channel name is Jebin Shine and don't forget to press the bell icon button so that you will get the notifications whenever I am uploading new videos. Thank you all once again. See you all again with one more interesting topic. Until then, it's bye from Jebin. Bye-bye. Take care.